Hi, Air Signs. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your bi weekly love reading for the time period of October 17th through the 31st, 2017. This reading is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I will start with Gemini. If you wish to get a personal reading from me, please visit moonpytarot.com or if you would like to ask me a question and get an instant answer, download the Instant Go app from your iPhone app store and for $10 you can text me a question and I will reply with an answer within 24 hours. This reading that I'm going to do right now starting with Gemini is for Gemini Sun Moon Rising or Venus and I've already shuffled the cards to start. So for Gemini, let's see what's going on here. Your overall energy, you have the Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands and for the next couple of weeks is really just telling me that uh, you are in, you might be in a bit of protection mode. You could be protecting against competition. You may have uh, some competition in your uh, love life during this time. You could be um, defending yourself or feeling like defending someone else or <coughs> someone could be doing this with you. Um, there could be maybe if you're in a partnership or if you're involved with someone that person could have a lot of suitors or vice versa and there's this energy of you know trying to hold on to what's yours or they trying to hold on to what's theirs now you're starting with the ace of wands which is a beautiful card uh, the ace of wands is telling me that some of you may have or be in a new romance or new relationship someone you may have met through a project or through a job but this is also a card of inspiration and having a new beginning. It's a, it can be a very passionate card, can be very sexual. Uh, there it could have something to do with, mm, there could be the new birth of something beginning that comes from a lot of passion with another person. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. This queen of wands here could be male or female. And uh, this person can be a bit feisty, self-assured, confident. They are masterful. Um, if it's a male, this person's an alpha male, <laughs> like a bold leader. They're powerful. They're charming. They're courageous. Um, so it could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries for some, not all of you. If it's not this fire sign, it could just be the energy that they uh, that they project. And you also have the six of wands, which is great. So you have wands, 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 all wands. So um, this is a feeling of victory. It's a very victorious time period. How can I really say it? Um, a lot of good news. You could also be uh, projecting this energy of being very bold and passionate and starting new. And you could have very, I feel like there's a lot of passionate, fiery energy for a particular person that you are um, not willing to let go of. Okay. You intend to be the victor in a relationship or if you are attempting to meet someone new this week that someone could show up and you are uh, you could be in competition to secure a date or uh, their secure their love I see very passionate fiery energy absolutely um, Someone also could be, you could be searching for recognition from a particular person or they could be giving you recognition or acknowledging you during this time. But this is, this six of wands is a, is a card of good news. So I feel it's very positive energy for you. Whatever you are, I see you working hard towards something 
to be the winner or to win someone's love or for them there could be also this other person who's trying to win your love and could be competing for that okay so for those of you who are single this is great uh, for those of you who uh, have a partner or someone you're dealing with it's still great uh, because uh, I see effort being made during these two weeks okay so we're going to end Gemini and then we're going to move on to Libra so Libra this is for you uh, if you have Libra Sun Moon Rising or Venus you can watch this reading do check out your other signs if you need more clarity on your situation uh, so if you wish to get a personal reading visit moonpytarot.com or you can go into your iPhone app store download the app instant go search for me moon Pie Tarot, and you can ask me a question for ten dollars and I will reply within 24 hours okay Libra what's going on in your love life for the week of October 17th through the 31st Neighbor sun, moon, or rising, or Venus. Hmm, must be an air sign thing. Victory, victory. Nice, ten of swords in the reverse. The Ace of Cups. And Temperance for your overall energy. Okay, so some of you I'm going to say right off the bat. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, you have uh, you have fire you have air and you have water uh, but these to me aren't representing signs you could be dealing with the Sagittarius for some of you or you just have this overall energy with temperance where you're feeling balanced you're in control of your life during this time you're being uh, you're approaching love with moderation you're not jumping the gun with things right now okay um, your intent is to perhaps win at something um, and be the victor in a love relationship uh, or this person is coming forward for you in that way um, you're definitely being the boss or or being a little bossy and for some Libras that can be your energy uh, but your the ten of swords in reverse is telling me there's this healing energy okay you're over something you've forgiven something from the past you're just ready to move on um, you're I feel like uh, you're ready for a new start with love and new love is coming during this time period it's not necessarily it could be a Sagittarius person coming into your life during this time but uh, if it's not it's for, for others it's just this new opportunities of love are opening up for you and so when I mean love uh, new relationship there could be a proposal uh, there could be a marriage some of you could be engaged getting married there could be a new birth some of you may be pregnant or expecting uh, or you know a new baby or this could be just the birth of something new uh, maybe some of you have finally reached that place of balance and peace and you've forgiven the past and you're ready and because of this you are ready to have a fresh new start and the result of that is an opening up of new love coming for you during this time period I don't even feel like I need to clarify or go or give any other messages other than this because I think it's beautiful so uh, Libra I'm going to just end your reading here for this time period and 
we're going to move on to Aquarius next. If you guys can put timestamps, that would be great, but I will try to do it also. Okay, so Aquarius. This is for this reading for Aquarius Sun, Moon, or Rising, or Venus. And this is for the time period of October 17th through the 31st. If you wish to get a personal reading, you can visit moonpytarot.com or go to your iPhone app store, download the Instant Go app, look for my name, Moon Pai Tarot, and you can ask me a question, uh, $10 for a text, and I will respond within 24 hours if you have any questions or anything that you need to know immediately. No need to wait a week for a reading. Okay, um, so Aquarius, what's going on for you? during this time period for love, relationships. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Do check your other signs if you know them. You can also look up, uh, if you know your time of birth, you can look on the, uh, go online, you can Google any birth chart calculator to give you your rising sign, your moon sign, your Venus sign. And uh, for some of you that don't know your sun sign, <laughs> you can check that as well. Okay, I always feel it's better to pull in all of it so that you can build a much broader picture. Um, okay, Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. So, the Three of Wands in the reverse. The Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. The Hanged Man in the upright. And the Suns in the reverse. Don't feel uh, like, oh no. The, 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 it's not, the reverse Sun is not necessarily the opposite of the Sun. It's just some to a lesser degree um, it's kind of like the dawn or the or dusk you know the sun's still there it's just not as heavy or, or as bright so that's your overall energy for this time period that's happening is you know you're you're it's kind of like I feel that you are it's about delayed gratification or just a temporary situation where you're waiting for the sun to come up fully on your love life. It's it's not quite fully bright just yet, but <clears throat> it is, I, I don't even feel like the sun is going down. <laughs> and even if it is, if you feel as if it is, rest assured that it will be back up in the morning okay so um, whatever the energy uh, whatever's happening in your life during this two-week period uh, it's just a little bit of um, some of you may feel like the sun is going down but it's not some of you may be waiting for the for um, the brightness to shine because uh, and it could be a little bit of a temporary depression perhaps or just maybe you're all up in your your feelings during this time um, my son likes to say in the bag I'm in my bag my bag of feelings my son Ian likes to say that and then actually he's 17 and he his his language his generational language I really don't understand so when he talks to me I have to ask him to translate or decipher what exactly he means so that a little little tidbit for you so uh, you're starting off with the three of wands in the reverse okay so again a little bit of delays maybe there's a bit of a lack of foresight uh, inability to see further or the bigger picture okay could be some you may feel some setbacks in love or um you you may have this feeling of uh you know failing to get something off the ground or or may or you may feel like um just not overly positive it could just be a little bit of depression, maybe some some energy and reaction to someone else, okay, or just this 
feeling of, you know, you're just not so sure. And uh, you could be just waiting. You might take this energy of just waiting it out right now during this time period to see, uh, to not react, to just kind of let it be right now. Let things just go as they may. Okay, uh, because I feel like what's happening is um, the reverse three of wands reduces back to the two of wands. And the two of wands is a card of waiting for resu results uh, or making travel plans or making a choice. Okay, so that may have been your energy prior, and now there may be some delays, or you're not sure, uh, or you've made a choice, and you're not sure if it will materialize or manifest, but I feel like this is all has to do with uh, a feeling of maybe a lack of self-confidence with the sun in reverse, because the sun upright, of course, is always about having this confident energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo, um, uh, or maybe you're not feeling confident about this particular person, uh, but it's something within you. I don't feel like the other person is feeling this way, but they could be. You also have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, and that card kind of makes me feel, you know, like a little bit of loneliness you may feel a little lonely too um this card in reverse also reduces to the nine of pentacles which is a card about uh, being self-sufficient and doing things on your own and being single or being solo or feeling on your own and your past desire maybe now is getting to the point where you don't want to feel that way anymore. And maybe you're looking for a partner because the Nine of Pentacles is always the card of someone who is a, a single bachelor or a bachelorette. This person has their finances together. They have their work together. Bills are paid. Everything else in life is basically great, but they're missing a particular person or they're missing their partner in crime. And so when the Ten of Pentacles comes up in the reverse, you may still be feeling um, conflicted, a bit lonely, and, and I just feel like you have this temporary setback during this time. I don't feel it, it's the reality of the situation. I just feel like you're probably going through something. I'll have to check and see where the planets are during this time frame. Uh, for you because it could have something to do with it. It may not be really anything that's going on. It's just your visions or your beliefs are not feeling confident within yourself when it comes to actually being able to meet someone. You may feel like you won't be able to or there isn't or just this feeling like, oh, there's nobody out there for me or there, you know, I'm, I'm going to be alone forever and that's not true. So then you have the hanged man here and <clears throat> this is telling me that you, you're really just going to get to this place where you might actually start to see things a little bit differently uh, coming out of this time period where you begin to gain a unique perspective and you begin to have a little bit of wisdom and acceptance in the sense that you know you're not going to accept defeat of course not but <clears throat> you'll start, I just feel like you're just going through a thing and you'll begin to come out of it again with the hanged man. Um, you'll start to see things differently again. You'll kind of like reset that sun that's in the reverse. You'll start to reset it back up into the upright where you will gain your confidence back again. When it comes to love, if there's someone in particular that you are interested in, you uh, right now may not be too sure about this person and vice versa. This There could be another person that's feeling the same exact way or they're feeling lonely or, or this person isn't sure that something could come about between the two of you and they might just be pulling back their energy or they're just not, uh, they're not 
too secure in the knowledge that there can be reciprocity. Okay, but they will come out of this towards this, t and when the end of this time period, they will start to begin to say, you know, maybe it's not as bad as I think, or you may start feeling that way again and start uprighting the sun card. And again, if you feel as if the sun is setting on you during this time period, just keep reminding yourself, you know, it's going to be back up in the morning. There's a new chance for a new start, and I can redo this all over again. Okay, so Aquarius, that was your reading. Thank you all so much. Please do like and subscribe, and uh, have a happy Halloween. I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, thanks. Bye.